Hey guys, this is Fat Loots from Fat Loots Gold Blog, and in this video we're going to go over how to set up Trade Skill Master Shopping. So the first thing I want to show you is how to set up an operation. So we go and type slash TSM. Go to I'm going to go to my group directly. Um, the group I have two groups here. Um, I just made these. Um, everything in my bags, and then just a subset of mats. So these are all some materials that we want to buy. So let's set up an operation by going to the Operations tab and clicking Create New Operation. You'll notice there are none here. This is a new profile. So my operation name is going to be 100 gold. Because, would you like to add this operation to some mats? Yes. My maximum auction price is going to be 100 gold. So keep this in mind when we're looking at the results later. So what I'm telling the add-on right now is the most I'm willing to pay for these items is 100 gold, which isn't true in particular, but for the example, it's fine. Um, you can also put any of those custom price sources here, such as DB Market, which would be the market price of the item. Um, maybe you only want to shop if it's below market price, 80% market price, 80% DB Market. There's some options, there's some checkboxes here. Show auctions above max price. What this will do is show auctions that are above 100 gold. If there are any, I'm going to check it. You know what, actually, let's make it 10 gold, so better example. Um, include in sniper searches. So sniper is a part of Trade Skill Master Shopping that will scan the auction house for deals that are just posted. Um, this checkbox will allow you to include this particular operation you're making in sniper searches. I'm going to say yeah. Um, even stacks only. Um, this always has bothered me. 5, 10, 15, multiples of 5. Um, that's not even. Half of those, about 50% of those, exactly 50% of those are odd. But stacks of 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. Um, you can check it or not. I'm not that anal, so I'm not going to bother. Max restack quantity. So if I only want to have like uh, 2,000 of whatever I'm shopping for, I could set this to 2,000 or 2,002. Good year. 2035. Another good year. That's when World of Warcraft officially dies. Mark my words. And sources to include in restock, I'm not going to bother. Um, it's just... What do you want to include in this? Your alts, your auctions, your bank, your guild. Close the box. And that's about it. Um, so that's a basic one. So to use this, we go to the auction Don't house. And now you can see select the groups which you would like to include in the search. And this is my group I just made. I can select it or, or deselect. Select. Deselect. Select and start search. So now it's searching for all these items at a 10 gold value. It's showing me items above 10 gold as well as less than 10 gold. And it's going to give me a percent max price. Now this is critical. So if you look, um, it's an approximate because it's technically. So my, my percent is based on the 10 gold figure. So if you look at this item, it's the current buyout is 1.16, which rounds to 12% of 10. Right, makes sense. So that's the percent that's shown here when you do a shopping search. So this just pulls up some items and it's wonderful, fine and dandy. I don't really want to buy any of these. I mean, maybe I do, but for the sake of this video. So you can click um, buy out and do the buy out or you can be smart and set up. And I'm sure I went over this already, but go to the TSM features macro setup and include it if you want to have the shopping buyout button the buyout confirmation button that means you could use your scroll wheel to buy and the shopping cancel button if you choose to that's just a confirmation um, so I could click this um, let me find a good example so there's 11 oh, I'm not spending that much gold on you guys so I mean I love you and all but okay so here's nah Still not, still not good. No good deals today. All right, screw it. You guys are worth it. So you could, you could scroll once. Oh, now I disabled it because I opened this up. 
So let's do that again. So you can scroll once and it'll bring up this window. And if you scroll again, it'll click that button. And then if you get uh, what I was looking for is that, you know, that guy. That guy who posts things in stacks of one that he shouldn't be. This guy right here. So you could just kind of scroll through all these like super fast and buy, there goes 50. It'll do 50 at a time because that's how many results are shown on a page. So it'll buy those 50. It'll pause. It'll pause. All right, you hear the gold jingle jangling. So you could buy the next 50. And it'll pause. It's buying the auctions. If um, I go to the right window here, it's going through like crazy buying all these. Anyway, so that's that. Pretty simple, right? I'm going to close now. The next feature, now that we're in the shopping tab, this is really where um, the shopping takes place. Um, I'm going to go over the crafting search mode. So if I want to look for, say, a temporal crystal. So what the crafting mode is going to do is it's going to search all methods of crafting a temporal crystal such as temporal crystal itself transforming fractured temporal crystals and since this is enchanting materials disenchanting is going to be an option so here's all the things i could disenchant for a temporal crystal and how much it would cost me as opposed to buying it at market value so if you type slash tsm and you go to your options and your shopping options here the market value price source that it defaults to is db market you can change this if you'd like but just know um, that's what this percent target value is going off of originally and you can again modify it if you choose to do so so the best way for me to acquire temporal crystals is by buying them directly but you can notice i'm sure as if i could get this double click to work getting some lag i don't know what's up with that there you go anyway you'll notice at a certain point it's cheaper to buy the fractured than the actual temporal because at 66 gold you could buy the fractured come on guys Of course, my computer chooses not to cooperate when I'm making a video at 61 gold. See, there's 6 gold, 16 silver. So that ends up being 61 gold, 66 silver per temporal crystal. Get it, got it, good. Wonderful. So next, search results is where we are because we just did a search. And here are the results. Boom. Done. Save searches. We That's the default. You have recent searches. You could save some favorite searches. I'm not going to go over that. It's fairly simple once you get into this, so you could set that up. Um, these are just some recent searches that you did. And finally, custom filter slash other searches. This is kind of the big bread and butter. This custom filter is really just your basic WoW shopping window. Um, it'll help you, for example, though, if I wanted a weapon, uh, bows, if I want to set up something for weapons, bows, rares, item level range 300 to 700. Apparently you can't tab there. That would have been nice. Uh, 700. And start search. So it will show you how you could set up that operation. And it will also do it. So here's the results. I don't particularly care about these. But again, it's going off DB Market there. So you could set up any custom filter you want, kind of mess with that however you want to shop. Um, start a vendor search. Um, a vendor search is going to look for items that you could sell to a vendor and make a profit. It's basing it off of the Trade Skill Master app last scan. So if your last scan was recent, it should have things to search for. Notice how it searched 15 pages and didn't find anything. So what it's saying is the last time the Trade Skill Master app scanned the auction house, it found items that you could vendor for a profit, but they're no longer there. It looks for them and they're gone. The next search is a disenchant search. Again, similar to the vendor search, it pulls up things that you can disenchant for a profit. If you go to slash TSM, and go to your shopping options. There's more disenchant search options here. Right, fairly straightforward. And the sniper. 
So the sniper is going to search for items, such as items that are in your shopping list and you checked off the box for. Notice that these came up and it played me a nice annoying sound to say, hey, there's some auctions you might want to buy. So these came up because they're under 10 gold. Somebody just posted these like within the last seconds. So they came up and I can buy them now. Um, so people normally use Sniper to find good deals, um, such as on my transmog list or on um, rare patterns or other items that usually go for a lot of money. Um, you could also edit your Sniper settings in options here. So there's a found auction sound, raid warning, you just heard that. Apparently you can't click it that many times in a row. Below vendor sell price, that means if something set vendors for 20 gold and it's posted for 18 gold, it'll pop up. You could buy it for 18, sell it for 20, make two gold. Lucky you. It is your lucky day. And below a custom price. Now I believe this is the default here. Is it? Can't be. Wow auctions in there? It's been gone for a long time, man. I had to put that there. Um, so yeah, it could be below a custom price. So maybe you want to say, okay, I want to, I want anything to show up that's below 25% of DB market or something like that. Don't go too crazy. Don't go buying everything without thinking about it because some things are going to have a crazy DB market value, such as maybe a plain letter that might show up with this. So use your discretion. But if you put zero copper here, it will only go off of your shopping operations. Get it? Got it? Good. There's also some sniper lists out there that you can get and just set up operations for, which is probably the preferred way to use sniper. Anyway, that's all fine and dandy. And you may be saying, fat, you're out of buttons. What are you going to do now? What am I going to do now? So the last cool feature of the shopping tab. Now you would think it would be in the auctioning tab, but it's in the shopping tab is that you could quick post items. So on this profile, I do not have a setting or an operation to sell enchants. So I can go over any one of these enchants. See the cursors over here, shift click, and I could post it, post, create auction. So that's how you can easily post items. It's in the shopping tab. It doesn't make sense, does it? But it's how it is. Anyway, I hope you uh, now understand shopping. This is going to be the last of my formal Trade Skill Master tutorial videos. I'm going to continue along with the series by going into some more advanced or kind of interesting topics. But this is kind of the last where I'm going to be you know, going over the basic functions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest gold making and trade skill master videos. And if you're interested in more in-depth gold making discussion, be sure to check out the consortium forums, which are linked below. Till next time, guys. Cheers.